What's up, guys? Got some um, live stream action last night from uh, Twitch. Um, first, I want to say quickly before I start this, thanks to everyone that rocked up there. We've got, um, we've got the largest amount of people that we've ever had, which is great for a first, uh, a first time. Um, I got some uh, good highlights of some of the battles on there as well, so I'll be uploading a few of them this week, as well as some other stuff as well, so just to keep you uh, posted, if you didn't actually make it to my stream. Um, if you uh, don't know where I'm streaming, I'm going to leave all that in the um, description and stuff. It's uh, Twitch TV, uh, Pimp Man underscore YouTube. If you just want to go follow me there, I can keep you up to date with all the live streams I have each weekend and uh, throughout the week. Anyway, let's get on to the battle. This one was against Doop. Um, I apologize for not having your YouTube name. Uh, if you do see this video, though, I will update your name and stuff. Um, right. Okay. Alright, so he's leading with Sharpedo. Now, I'm leading with my Fero. This is my new team that I made, so I was pretty pumped to use this. Um, I just thought I'd, I'd go for U-turn here, get some nice damage on Sharpedo, and it looks like it didn't have any items like Focus Sash or anything at the start, so that's going to go down uh, there. Um, so Fero um, got his his first kill. <laughs> so I'm going to go into my uh, Bastilix here. I couldn't call it Thumper because um, not Nintendo actually stopped me. It was funny, because Nintendo I, Nintendo stopped me calling it Thumper, but I can call it Erection. What? What? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so obviously I'm predicting a dynamic punch or a fighting sort of style move, and uh, Dusclops is probably going to be my most uh, best swap in here. So go for will o uh, anyway, just in case he stays in for like a ghost move or something like that. Um, in comes Katy Perry, and that's not going to do anything with that will wisp I sort of stay in here because I just want to see what moves this thing's got. I'm a special defense wall. Um, this guy takes stuff really, really well. Um, the only problem with Dusclops is he doesn't really have a reliable form of recovery um, outside pain split or rest, and um, a lot of the time you can you can wear him down pretty easily um, with good switches. So in comes this thing, I, oh my god, I hate this thing. So I can't really do anything to that as well. There's no real point in me burning it because it's probably got natural cure. I can just swap out and maybe toxic me. So I go, to, I go into Steelix predicting the toxic, um, so that's fine. Um, there's not very much point in staying in anymore. Um, I just go for, I think I go for, uh, I go for Dragon Tail here just to phase the next poke out. Um, it's sort of like a phasing set. It worked a lot better with some traps up on the field, I, I know, but it's just sort of making some fun pokes and seeing how they go. Okay, back into Golok again. Um, I thought there would be some sort of fighting move here, so he predicted me to go into Dusclops then. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was his mindset. I just go for Gyroball, get a little bit of damage off on this guy. Um, I get a crit, so it doesn't actually do a lot of damage. Um, but that's sort of okay. I can probably drag and tail it out or swap out. Maybe swapping out might be my best bet here. Okay, so it's left over as well. It's um, it's, it's my Stilix is a, my def complete defensive tank on my team. Just lots of swap ins. He can swap into like Toxic and a lot of things as well. Uh, scare off them fairies with Gyro Ball. So I frisk out his item as well, and I can see what he's got over it. Obviously. Um, the Earthquake does quite a lot of damage, so I'm sort of fearing a ghost move here. If he does a ghost move, um, I just want to get like the maybe the pain split off, but that's going to take me out, unfortunately. So down goes Dusclops, and as I said, um, his main problem there is that sort of recovery thing. I was um, you really have to get its counters out of the way before it can you know go really well. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go Foxy here. I Go straight away for Waterfall because uh, you know that was sort of the obvious play with this thing. And I was thinking, what's he going to swap into it? So into Chancer here. I know this thing's obviously going to be Everlight, and it takes it really, really well. Oh, and there's like nothing I can possibly do to this. Um, I am carrying Power Up Punch in this set, but there's you know there's no point in me doing that because that's not, definitely not going to kill. And I might risk getting like a Thunder Wave or something. So into Steelix again, uh, trying to. Well, any sort of status move there. I've got rest on this guy, so I can just rest it off. Uh, into Bushy Ass again. Now, I'm just going to go for Dragon Tail again, phase this guy out, and see what sort of moves it's got. <clears throat> so, uh, Giga Drain's not going to do a lot to me, uh, even though I've got nothing in special defense. It's, um, I've, I'm, I'm thinking it's more of a like, sort of a bulkier sort of set. Um, so, I'm just phasing that out again. I'm trying to get a favorable swap in. So into Bufflin, this probably wasn't the greatest thing. I knew this uh, would de would definitely be carrying Earthquake. 
I couldn't... I didn't really... Here, I didn't really want to risk going to Firo because he may have predicted that and gone for a head charge and that would have absolutely destroyed Firo. Um, and I sort of valued Firo a little bit more than Steelix in this battle. Um, just what pokes were left and stuff and I really sort of needed him to get rid of that Chansey as well. Um, so I'll leave swaps out there, maybe predicting... I'm not sure why he would have swapped out there. Um... But I was swapping out, uh, predicting the Earthquake. So right here, I go for the Drill Pack here. Um, I am Choice Banded, and I've got the Sniper ability. So that was a crit, and with the Sniper ability, if you don't know, our crits get powered up. It doesn't encourage critical hits. It powers the crits up when you get it. So um, just make sure you, when you're using that ability, you... Um, remember the differences between that. So, I uh, go into my um, Ordino here. We've got Katy Perry and Miley Cyrus on, Cyrus on the field. Um, this is sort of a defensive... Well, Ordino is just really support with Regenerator. It's a great little support poke um, as well. In special defense, of course. Don't keep it into physical things that get annihilated. So, the most I can really do to this guy is just throw up the Toxic here. I'm not sure what item that it has at the moment because I... Um, I, didn't, I don't think I got a chance to frisk the item with Dusclops because it was a swap in. Um, I later do find out what his item is there. Um, I'm just going to go for Protect here, get a little bit of uh, Lefty's Recovery and such like that. Um, I can see that it may, at this point I was thinking it may be locked, locked in or Choice Spec or Scarf. I, I, was, I was already sort of thinking along those lines. Um, that was sort of in the back of my mind already. So, uh, Frame Throw is going to uh, hit me pretty hard again, considering I'm a special defense ball. I'm going to throw out the Wish here, and I should definitely be fine to get all my health back. Um, I could even swap Ordino out here, swap someone else in. They can receive the Wish, and uh, Regenerator will get a quarter of my health back, which is really nice um, for support as well. You can really make good use of your switches. And not only are you passing a Wish on, you're actually getting your health back. So, it makes it... Um, Really, really handy. And you you don't see Ordino too much. Um, so I go for Protect there. I really had to go for Protect. I knew that he had, there was a possible chance of him swapping, but I had to receive that wish um, there. I don't really like Ordino on too low health because it has to get that wish off um, and has to take a hit and get a wish off. So uh, back into Steelix, I have to take this, um, this hit being a head charge, which I thought it would be. Uh, even though it's not going to be very effective, it's going to take me out in the next uh, sort of turn. And I sort of have to sacrifice Steelix here. Um, like, so I don't really have a safe swap in at the moment because my Dusclops is down. That's sort of, you know, that's sort of my swap in for these uh, big, heavy, you know, normal type moves or fighting type moves and such like that. Okay, a um, little bit of recall there. So I'm going to go into my Jinx here. Um, this is my uh, Nasty Pop boosting Jinx um, with the dry skin ability. Uh, that I got from the Horde Battle, so it was really fun to sort of raise this guy up. Uh, Focus Blast thankfully hits. Um, I was really hoping that was hit. Uh, I would have got absolutely destroyed if uh, if that uh, head, head charge hit me. So it's a, a Pyro again. Now, I was thinking at this stage that it was Scarfed. I had a thing in the back of my mind that was definitely Scarfed or like locked in. Excuse me, I'm quite tired. <laughs> I was up pretty late last night. I apologize. I'm just trying to get um, some battles up for you guys um, tonight. Right. As I was saying, um, I had to stall out the uh, the Katy Perry. I'm just going to call it that. <laughs> um, and uh, in comes uh, Golak again. So I know this guy's got some power-up punch. He might try and set power-up punch on me. Um, I'm not going to like a power-up punch even so... It may, and it still hasn't revealed. It may even have dynamic punch with the no guard ability as well. I haven't actually confirmed that. And I didn't really. I wasn't confident enough to take that chance either. Um. So right here, I think I I, I made a choice here to sacrifice my Jinx. If he did go for a power up punch, I could um, maybe take that really badly. But instead, he goes for rock push. I was a little tiny bit worried here because I was running, wondering what if this is a max speed. Uh, version that I, I could get I, I may there might be a small chance of me getting out sped here I'm running timid on this Jinx because with Jinx you really have to go first and it's already got great special attack already um, I hit it with Ice Beam it was a crit there but I'm not really sure that was it would have done extremely heavy damage Jinx doesn't exactly have a bad 
special attack uh, stat as well. Now, of course, I don't know what um, if it'd be running many special defense EVs, but I imagine it's more you know bulky attack health sort of thing. Maybe a bit of speed with that rock wash. Anyway, so my best bet here is to go for Ice Beam. Um, here, that's going to take that out, which is good. Um, so Jinx is doing uh, doing some some nice sweeping at the moment. Um, in comes the Pyro again. I know that I did have an um, inkling that it was Scarf, and that definitely, uh, even though it's got high base speed than me, I, I definitely thought that it would be Scarf. So um, there was one poke that I knew that could take a hit and will take a hit pretty badly, even though that it resisted and finish it off. So into Foxy here. Um, I don't. I'm not carrying Aqua Jet on this thing. Uh, oddly, which I normally I normally do carry Aqua Jet on it, but um, I sort of have a different kind of set on this guy. So I take that really well. I don't get the burn because I got Water Veil, obviously, and Waterfall is going to take that out. And I think that's GG. It is, I believe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Just um, this is sort of my new team that I made up, um, and some interesting ones like Firo. You don't see Firo at all, and I really was. Um, I was pretty excited to try him out in a battle, see how we go. Um, hits pretty hard, he's sort of like my Do um, Dodrio. Um, they're cool pokes, and uh, you know, Ordino, Jinx, there's some interesting ones as well. Um, but anyway, uh, thanks Doop for the battle. Um, had lots of fun, had a couple of other good battles as well, but I will get them up. Um, I'll probably just get one up tonight, because I actually still need to go to bed, I'm quite tired myself as well and uh, I'll get some more live stream coverage up and I've got a couple of other battles that I've done outside of live stream that I'll get up as well for your uh, entertainment so thanks for taking your time out of your day to watch uh, my videos and stuff um, if you enjoyed this one please leave a like and comment on the video it's highly appreciated and peace out everyone